What's going on everybody? Crimson Verum here, and today we're going to be checking out the new psychological horror game called The Park. Um, it just came out uh, yesterday, or today, depending on when I upload this. Um, but I don't know anything about it really, but I picked it up on Steam, so I thought we'd play through it together. Uh, the Park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of the play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be any cause for alarm or psychiatry. Alright, without further ado, let's hop right into this. Let's do it. This will be part one. Uh, I figured I'd do like 20 minute long episodes. That sounds good with y'all. Whoopsh. Here we go. Let's get the fuck out of the woods, man. So how's your guys' day going, huh? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Smiles all around. Funcom Prison. My heart and mind. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. The park. Dun dun dun. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. Dim Go and ask information. Jeez. Okay. Stay in the car. Windows up. He's gonna suffocate. <laughs> He's gonna burn up in there. Uh, why am I laughing? Atlantic Island Park. Attention, patrons. Bingo. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Hell no. I'll do what I want. Interact with objects. Okay. Thanks for the heads up there. I guess I'm going to try and bust through this bitch. Oh, hey. Yeah. Maybe I should talk to this guy. What? Uh-oh. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. And think about the last place you saw your really son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Why is he so quiet? He's like whispering. Okay, unlock the gates. Gotta Wait go get for mommy, boy. Callum. This way. Wait for mommy. What? There's something special about Becky, the entrance boy. to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. What happened here? Yeah, I guess I better. All right, we're in this together, guys. I'm scared of shit right now. What are you doing, stupid kid? Are you serious? You're gonna? Oh, what kind of kid? Oh, it's like little Damien. He's gonna run in that house. No. Little 
bitch. No. No, he's... I gotta catch him. Damn, he's quick. I like the vibe, though. Uh, I don't like that squirrel. That's creepy. I think he's real. I think this belongs to Kelm. Yeah. That's cool. I think that's guys that guy's real. That's not a statue. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> no. Not chipmunks, man. Now the internet knows my worst fear. What the hell? Alright. <clears throat> Be brave. Nope. Nope. Tunnel of tails. Callum, Kay. stay where you are. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Come on, mommy. Okay. Hop. Is he on that? Yeah, he's on that. I gotta, I gotta ride this bitch. Let me get on this. Let me get on it. Why don't you let me get on it? Okay, here we go. Please hold my hand. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. Whoa. No, my wife. I cannot what was do that? that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began <clears throat> to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the wolf oh God, there he leads is. the children into the forest. Fuck that. Look, you see him? Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread no. and warns them that no. they'll get no more food uh. that day. Fuck that. Clever Hansel uh, leaves a trail of that. white stones this is like behind a, them as they pass into the woods. Oh my when their God. father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. <sighs> oh, God. Okay. After receiving a thorough All scolding right. from their parents nice. for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Fuck. Hansel tried to sneak out Go and collect more white stones, but found that row, the door row, row, was row locked. Boat. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself. The white Dude, that guy's creepy, cutter. man. I didn't sign up for this shit. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread. I heard something behind me. Deep into the forest. I heard something behind me. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's right behind me. Hansel broke his bread into Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can hear him. He's like right behind me. The like splashing in the water and shit. Destroyed. Fuck that. Abandoned by their parents and 
and unable to find the trail home, oh, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Where's he at? Dude, this is creepy. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. I'm just looking out for that squirrel, man. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you okay. but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them yes, and began to eat. Them. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children Once inside the house, oh God. the old woman nope. changed. Nope. Nope. She stuffed nope. Hansel nope. into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fed up, I shall feast upon him. Yeah, my mind took that the wrong way. <laughs> Time passed, and poor Hansel refused Is to eat, behind me? fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Get the fuck out of the woods, man. Today, Come on. I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Do it. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old oh witch said, "The opening is here." Now, where she did you go? To show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door. Wow! Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged. The children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because okay. even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Yeah. Cool. Well, we didn't find our son. So. No. No, 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 no. Don't look at me, swan! Stop looking at me, swan! Yeah, that's right, bitch. Bitch ass swan. Shampoo is better. No conditioner is better. Alright, that was fun. Can I not go around again? Can we hop out this bitch? Stop. Thank you. Uh, well, that was fun. Let's keep looking for our son. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. 
We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay. Uh, now I can sprint. Awesome. Another accident. This place. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deducted what was needed from the band writings of Ar Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of po positive emotions can use can be used to fuel such a pro process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and to use negative and that caused so sowy um of the taint and that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. We very soon I will know Oh whoa, what was that? Very soon if this has all been for nothing. Okay. Uh can I take the knife or something? That's really fucking weird. Just leave a teddy bear in there, but um Let's see what's at the end of this path. Oh god. God. <laughs> okay, here we go. This old thing used to make the blood oh, yeah. in my head. This looks good. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. We're waiting on, uh, for our turn on the ride. Frank and the boys, this fellow in the chipmunk suit, is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit weary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more of the ice fell away, when you first looked, it looked more like a human face smiling out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions, something unnatural that made your heart begin to just, uh, to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were prey, and that thing, um, sorry, in the ice was a hunter. But then the teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carving, and it's and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit, and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was all chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had the teenagers on the ground, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the and the kids were dragging them away as fast as we could, blah, blah, blah. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball of one of those poor kids that landed on the ice sculpture, making a horrible creature look... Okay. Fuck that. Okay, the whole purpose of that is given a little backstory to make you scared of the chipmunk a little bit more. Next time I see that dude, I'm gonna be more scared because I know he stabbed some kids to death. Where the fucking nice pick? So, he's got some street cred, you could say. Should I turn this thing off? Or should I hop on? Should I can't I hop get on, on while it's moving. Let's ride it. Let's ride it real quick. Alright, we'll ride it real quick, and then that'll be uh, episode one. Unless some crazy shit happens. I can't get on while it's moving. Here we go. Ow, shit. Ow. You guys just heard me hit my elbow really hard on my desk. Ow. What the fuck is up with that duck? Is that what that is? 
Oh god. My question is, how did it start once we got on? And how do we get it to stop? Oh god. Bad idea. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh shit. What was that? It's a giant creepy guy in a top hat. Get me off this thing. Please? Please? Oh my god, there he is. Oh shit. Boom! Alright. Well, that that's going to be episode one, <laughs> guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have episode two up very shortly, so keep an eye out for that. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get the hell out of this creepy place. You guys have a wonderful day.